If the third time's a charm, what does that say about the fourth? So, you full of crap or what? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 fourth installments in games. Across all genres and all of gaming history, these fourth games represent the very best of their kind. While we don't really have to place our one game per franchise limit here, we are excluding any and all spin-offs from this list. So we love you Fallout New Vegas, but we can't include you this time. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Number 10, Halo 4. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? Master Chief's return had many descriptors. Experimental deserves to be one of them. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. Rather than a traditional story about military heroics, Halo 4 focused on Chief's struggle to save his AI companion Cortana. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account! Instead of disregarding the series' extended lore, the story chose to integrate or reference more of it, specifically fleshing out the Forerunners, who created the infamous Halo rings. The Forerunners have returned. On top of that, the gameplay sought to expand itself by including a new alien faction, a cooperative storyline in the form of Spartan Ops, and some of the most vibrant locales yet. Number 9, Super Smash Bros. 4, Wii U. Go! This multiplayer fighting game serves its series well. As the fourth game in the Super Smash Bros. series, it's walking a fine line between innovation and iteration, a line it thankfully balances upon. Items like the Smash Ball and Assist Trophy are back, along with fancy new graphics and amiibo support. Mario. Players also get a healthy main roster of 49 characters, with the mind-blowing inclusion of third-party mascots such as Mega Man and Pac-Man. Thank you, Nintendo. Number 8. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Face the wrath of Super Crane! A game worthy of the heroes in a half-shell. Turtles in Time is perhaps the franchise's most popular video game outing, and simultaneously their first Super Nintendo game, which makes it all the more impressive. Though it has the four turtles cutting through enemies in traditional beat-em-up fashion, using time travel to introduce new settings keeps things interesting. My patience is wearing thin. One level takes place in the Technodrome from the 1987 cartoon, another takes the turtles to the prehistoric age, and yet another sends the turtles to the Old West. And good times were had by all. <laughs> Number 7, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. What past games missed or got wrong, Black Flag proudly claims for itself. This is a pirate's yarn, celebrating the fun and debauchery of piracy's golden age the only way it knows how, by allowing you to venture about and cause mischief. There's nothing quite like sailing the jackdaw, battling off other ships on the high seas, plundering their brigs for booty, and leaving them adrift. That, combined with the picturesque Caribbean setting and stripped-down story about the personal struggles of privateer Edward Kenway, makes for a positively emotional experience. Can you not see me, standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port? Number 6, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Yeah! <gasps> the first of the high-definition Elder Scrolls games, and one heck of an experience. Good. The Emperor's trust was well-placed. You are a lowly prisoner in the land of Cyrodiil, elevated by circumstance to the role of hero and tasked with saving the world. Duh. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Underneath this excellent premise lies a tightly crafted game with countless options in quests to undertake, customizations with which to tinker, enemies to battle, and items to collect. Where past installments claimed no limits on what the player can do, this game embodies this principle from start to finish. Number 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. If this was to be the end of Metal Gear like it was originally intended to be, then it would have been a fine note to end on. All right, let's just get this over with. The game acted like a kind of best of compilation, a psyche bar and camouflage system in the vein of Metal Gear Solid 3, returning characters whose plot lines intersect and find resolution, and a new team of bosses in the vein of Foxhound. It knew what to tweak and what to keep the same, 
but most of all, it knew how far it had to go to deliver a satisfying tale. Snake, it's me. <gasps> Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City's charm returns, but in different form. You knew? I had suspicions. Grand Theft Auto 4 set itself up as a slow burn, doling out characters, storylines, and game mechanics at a measured pace. It's easy. Out about? the door, turn left, and the first left of the diner, go down I'm one block and turn right on Iroquois. All this buildup, however, played into why the game stands out from its predecessors. It becomes a grand tale of self-destruction and vengeance that required preparation to play out as brutally and shockingly as it does. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up and left a lot of bad debt. It's also an impressive example of early high-definition graphics, and the improvements to the third-person shooting are certainly welcome. <laughs> Number 3. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare In the realm of shooters, this was the one to beat, both for 2007 and for the years to come. Fire. Coming out. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare brings its series into the present, tasking players with braving a campaign that is one part ripped from the headlines war story, one part intense Tom Clancy thriller. No one expected the narrative swerves, the likable cast of soldiers, or the constant stream of jaw-dropping moments. The game also offered an innovative multiplayer suite that featured the soon-to-be-popularized killstreaks that were the icing on the cake. Number 2. Super Mario World For Mario, this was a key moment in his series' development. His fourth main outing and first Super Nintendo adventure pitted him against the evil King Bowser and his seven Koopaling children, taking the famed plumber through seven increasingly challenging worlds. Super Mario World helped establish the series' trend of introducing items like the Three Up Moons and the Cape Feather, which evened the odds in Mario's quest. To top it off, this was the first time you could team up with the beloved dinosaur steed Yoshi, for which we are all thankful. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Resident Evil 4 This is the big one, the game that changed everything. Its introduction of the over-the-shoulder camera angle began a wave of change in the design of third-person shooters, and the prominence of quick-time events meant they would become a trend for modern action games. Now. But beyond all that, Resident Evil 4 is an excellent game. It delivers large-scale boss battles that surpass those of the previous games, brings back Leon Kennedy as a formidable hero, and infuses the Resident Evil franchise with some delightfully self-deprecating humor. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear it. All in all, it's a juggernaut to behold. Do you agree with our list? How can I explain? What's your favorite fourth game in a series? For more excellent top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do.